I set myself a goal this year to do at least one dedicated book review every single month and I just haven't stuck to that at all and it's a real shame because it's something that I really really wanted to do so I'm going to try really hard to remember to do it and I'm going to start off with Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Now this book has had quite a lot of talk here on booktube but I thought that I would weigh in to the discussion and give my views about it. So in case you haven't heard about this book it is a young adult fantasy and I pause when I say young adult because there's been some conversation about whether or not this would more properly sit in a new adult category if that category had actually taken off and I'll discuss that in a little bit more detail in a short while but in essence I think that it's fine in young adult section, albeit towards the older end of the young adult section. It follows a witch named Lou and a witch hunter named Reed. It's set sort of in an approximation of 17th century France, so from that you can imagine religion takes a very prominent role in the views of society, especially towards witches and also towards women in general. And through a very interesting set of circumstances, Lou and Reed have to get married. She knows that he's a witch hunter, but he doesn't know that she's a witch. And she also appears to be hiding from someone and we don't necessarily know why. So that's a general overview of what the book is about. Now, starting off with the young adult, new adult conversation, there is quite a lot of swearing in the book. Lou lives on the streets and she is a thief, so it's fairly reasonable that she has a little bit of a vulgar mouth, shall we say, at least from the perspective of the witch hunter characters in the story and so there is a lot of swearing and the author doesn't hold back on that. It's not like she invents this fantasy world's own version of swear words, they're the same as ours. But I mean we live in a society where even younger children hear swear words so I don't necessarily see that that's a huge issue in terms of this book, why it wouldn't be appropriate for somebody in a young adult age range. Being realistic, they're going to hear that kind of language at school anyway, so I don't see any reason why they shouldn't read a book with it in. There is also one explicit sex scene, but I say explicit, it's not on the levels of smutty romance novels explicit, and again, I don't necessarily see why it would be a problem for this to be marketed towards a young adult reader. To a certain extent my opinion on it is that children should be educated about sex and not when they get to the age of 16, 17, 18 and I don't necessarily see why sex between a consenting adults is a problem for young adult readers. It's not every single page, it's not every single chapter, it's one sex scene. So I don't I don't necessarily see a problem with this being in the young adult section. I am all for books having recommended age ratings on them. I think that that's something that publishers should very much consider. But as for this being in the young adult rather than the adult category, I think it belongs in young adult. I definitely wouldn't put it in the young in the adult category and the simple fact of the matter is there is no new adult category anyway and even if there was this could comfortably sit there or young adult but I don't see a problem with it being in young adult so that's just my take on it. If you're a younger watcher and you're not sure if this is suitable maybe get a parent to flick through it first but to be honest I don't I wouldn't have a problem with my young cousins reading this let's put it that way. So 
that's that's the age range thing as for the writing the writing is really easy to follow it's not overly wordy it's not overly lyrical it's a really easy writing style to get into one thing the author does that I don't particularly like and I don't like this in any book it's not just specific to this book but where a story is set in either in a country or an approximation or a fantastical version of that country and all of the language is in English I don't like it when there's just random words thrown in in the native language of that country or whatever just for no reason so I'm currently reading Nocturna by Maya Motain and in that one there is some Spanish interspersed in the narrative but it is Spanish that is used for the magical words that people speak when they are using magic. That's fine, that's an intrinsic part of the plot but when it's just randomly thrown in to speech just occasionally it kind of takes me out of the story a little bit. If we are set, as we are in this book, in let's say 17th century France or a fantastical version of it and I'm reading it and it's all in English I am reading it in the understanding that they're actually probably all speaking French to each other it's just been translated into English for the purposes of the reader so when you then add random French words in what that says to me is no actually all of these characters who are in France are speaking English for some weird reason and are randomly throwing French words into the mix that just doesn't work for me and I really wish authors wouldn't do that it doesn't make sense it's really it just feels like oh, I'm showing off because I know some French words so let me throw them in there it just doesn't work for me that's a personal preference thing I'm being really nitpicky because otherwise the writing in this is really good really easy to follow and it made it an enjoyable read pacing wise the first 100 pages or so was a little bit slow in my opinion but after that it really picked up and it was all go the whole way through so I really enjoyed that. I do definitely prefer a faster paced plot line especially in a book that's around this size this is about 513 pages so plenty of space for the plot to go in but not enough space that it should go as slowly as for example the Stormlight Archive where those books are a thousand pages or more so I expect those kinds of books to take a little bit more time so I felt like this was really well paced after that first 100 pages. I also really enjoyed the characters in this. It's told in first person past tense which I have to say I'm not a massive fan of. I find that kind of writing a little bit jarring for me. It was well written and it was well handled but again personal preference wise I don't tend to like it when it's first person past tense. If you're going to use first person I prefer it to be present tense and best case scenario I like third person past tense. Again I'm being nitpicky and very particular that's just my personal reading preferences but I think where you're using first person in general you need to have really distinctive voices for your characters so like I mentioned this is told from the perspective of Lou and Reed and aside from the fact that Lou swears and Reed doesn't I did struggle to differentiate between their narrative voices not their spoken voices the dialogue was very easy to tell who was speaking even if it didn't specifically say but in terms of narrative it says at the beginning of each chapter who is narrating but it wasn't always clear to me and I did have to sort of flick back sometimes to double check who was telling that part of the story because it wasn't it wasn't distinct enough again in my opinion I know that not everybody has found that so that might just be me maybe I wasn't paying attention enough I don't know but that was a problem I found in terms of following the story but again that's just a specific issue generally the writing style was very easy to follow and very easy to read plot wise it was interesting well thought out not overly complicated which was nice there's also a magic system with some 
rules and scope for more exploration of that which I really enjoyed. So there are two types of magic in this world. There are white witches and blood witches or red witches and the Dame Blanche they draw their magic from the land and it's a very give and take scenario so if you want to break a lock then you have to break a finger that's your payment for that magic so there are consequences to the use of magic with the dom rouge which are the blood witches they draw their magic from their blood and we don't find out too much about that type of magic in this book but it's the first book in what I think is going to be a duology and I think that blood magic is going to be explored in a little bit more detail in book two. So I'm looking forward to that because I do find that magic very interesting as well. And as you might know, I do tend to enjoy magic systems with at least some rules, some limitations, some consequences to the use of magic, which this has and I appreciated that. Now, I'm not going to mention any names, but I have heard some complaints that this book is fat phobic and not feminist and racist and I don't agree. I just I just don't agree at all. I think that if you read this story in its entirety then none of those things are issues if you're if you're reading carefully. I don't want to go into that in this video if you're interested in discussing that with me then by all means let me know in the comments and I'm happy to discuss it with you but I'm just acknowledging some people have those issues with this book I don't share them, I don't think that those things are problems at all if you look at the story as a whole. If you look at sections in isolation then yes of course you're going to have issues with it but that, that's the same for any book I think and I don't have any issues with the decisions that the author made in terms of characters and descriptors and plot etc. So again if you want to discuss that with me in more detail happy to in the comments but I'm not going to spend any more time on that in the body of this video. But in summary, I really enjoyed this book. It was a nice, fun, easy fantasy read with likeable characters, a reasonably fast paced plot once you got past that first 100 page mark and I'm really interested to see what's going to happen in the second book. Like I said, I think I've heard that it's a duology and I actually do think that this is perfect story for a duology. I'm not sure that it could be spun out to a trilogy but I guess we'll see. The second book I think is out in August 2020 but yeah I enjoyed myself reading this one and I do recommend it. If you've already read it let me know what you thought of it. If you're planning to read it then let me know that too and if there are any other books that you know I've read that you would like me to do a specific dedicated review for then do let me know I'm happy to do them for you because I do want to do more dedicated book reviews on this channel but for now that's it for this one thank you so so much for watching if you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you again soon thanks bye